What's up guys? Elijah here at Just Be Creative. Thank you for joining me on another week of the reviews. This past week on O2L was Rant Week. And in case you couldn't tell, I got a new haircut. And apparently O2L got a new house. So we're all getting new things. This is good. Yeah. And I know I didn't get this out until now. I must apologize, not only for the lateness, but for my haircut. Please don't rant about it. Doesn't get more profound than that, bro. Hey, what's up, O2L? It's Connor. Hey, guys, what's up? It's Ricky on O2L. Hey, guys, what's up? It's Sam. What's up, O2L? Casey's here. Hello, O2L. It is Trevor. Hey, guys, what's up? It's Ian. I've been Elijah. You've been awesome. This week on O2L, Connor, and I guess Ricky and Kean, rant about what sucks about society. That is going to have to be a list about yay big. And then of course we've got Ricky and two retro-themed Bruno Mars music video looking males doing a rant about annoying people on the internet. There can't be that many. Can there? Who am I kidding? And then we've got Sam doing a rant about guys who do not respect their women. I mean, uh, guys who uh, don't respect the women that they're they're with, because that just is more politically correct. <clears throat> and then we've got JC ranting about going back to school, and who really likes that anyways? Don't know. And then of course we've got Trevor ranting about mean people, because let's face it, Taylor Swift is not the only person who knows about mean people. And then we've got Kean ranting about what he hates. It pays to know an optimist. So what do you get when you mix three half-naked men and a camera? Usually a viral video, but in this case, it is a life lesson. Society tells you that you have to look a certain way, body-wise, that you always have to be skinny. Social status. Everyone thinks that you need to be in a higher social status. Everyone, Everyone's always goal is to be like, I want to be rich and famous. Which I must agree with. I'm not super muscular. I am not monetarily rich. I was homeschooled for Pete's sake. <laughs> but I have loved every bit of my life because I've been living it the way that I wanted to. And that's kind of what it's about. You gotta stop worrying about other people and just figure out you. Know that you will make mistakes. Acknowledge that. Move on and grow. That's really, that's how it works. So what sucks about society? Where could I even begin? The bigger question, what is right about society? And my friend Connor said it best. Muffins. Ricky and his two beefcakes just let the internet have it. And they make perfect sense. His two friends, Jack and Ryan, are hilarious. It totally made how awesome this video was. Basically, explode! Now that I've got that out of my system. They spoke of Twitter and YouTube and then briefly mentioned Facebook. So just please stop. So, go check it out because it's pretty much a guarantee that you will actually laugh. Even if you're by yourself. Sam used the word douchebag so often, I'm considering writing a song about it. It really makes me wonder if we actually remember what that word means. Or if it is just simply an adjective we use to describe the guys from the Jersey Shore. They are not feminine hygiene products. Because that's just gross. I'm not trying to pick on him. The video wasn't bad, and he did have a good point about choosing the right person. My friend's ex-boyfriend used to say no to everything for her. Like, she was like, oh, can I go to the mall with my friends? He said no. She had no life, and he made it like that. How old was this couple? What are teenagers doing that they have to deal with this stuff anyways? That's just crazy. Oh, I guess I just ranted about that a little bit. Girls, I would like to offer some very good advice that if you took it, it would really benefit you in the long run. Dating is fun. Having someone to hug and to kiss feels good, and it's fun. However, at this age, it is absolutely pointless. Just like I said, pointless. You go, girlfriend. My advice is simply to stay single as long as you can. You are never going to have more freedom than you have right now. Not to mention the amount of heartache you will save yourself if you just say, I'm not even gonna date right now because it is pointless. JC and his two friends talk about school and I cannot relate to that at all. I know confessions are for the next video, but guys, I never went to public school. <laughs> And now you know why I'm this way. No one is excited <laughs> to go back to school. No one. Even though I cannot relate, I completely understand what they're saying because I have a lot of public school friends who say the same thing. Dude, I totally hate school. It's all for losers and lamos and people who cannot <sighs> Say what? I actually loved school. I loved homeschooling. I did school for three hours a day for three days out of the week. 
Trevor gets pretty passionate about this topic, which I find really cool because he was right on with his observations. Should I even talk about LA drivers? I rode through the LA area once. Just once! Never again if I can help it. It was so crowded. It makes you feel claustrophobic. <laughs> Do I have any room to pull over? Get out of the way! <laughs> so as for you mean people, stop it. Why you gotta be so mean? Kian looks like he's settling in well with his laundry. Um, everywhere. And his video, awesome. Clear, agreeable, straight to the point. Same crap I hate. It was a great set of videos this week. So if you haven't, you better go check them out or I'll be mean to you. Why Jay YouTube? I was just kidding. <laughs> So much of this video has been spent talking about them that I didn't really have time to incorporate my own rant in there. So if you want, you can check out my rant over here. You'll be able to click on it. And you can check out last week's review here, and you can also check out next week's review because uh, this is a week late, so I'll be able to put that in there. Don't forget to just be yourself and be creative. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Elijah, you've been awesome, and I will see you all too tired to kick the camera, I'm going to punch you instead.